Hey guys, what's up? This is episode 4 Q&A of Top Chef Canada. Episode 4 just came out, so thus episode 4 now for um, a really cool episode. This one was called The Nordic Feast and we got to cook for some amazing chefs. Marcus Samuelson, Emma Bengtsson. These two are like sort of forefronts currently in uh, Nordic cuisine, Scandinavian cuisine, Aquavit, Red Rooster, Michelin stars. So these guys are big heavy hitters. And then for the quick fire, we had also to do grilled cheese sandwiches using seafood. So a big sort of no-no faux pas in the culinary industry is that, or even just in food in general, is that you usually don't mix seafood with dairy. Um, but we made it happen, some amazing things. So let's start to get started with a couple questions today that you guys have asked and we'll go straight to Instagram and Sylvan Wolves asks have you ever been completely stumped on what to cook um, I'm usually always stumped uh, right from the get-go but then I sort of think of things right away and I, how, I, how I go through a dish sort of or even just in the quick fires is simply what the challenge is so either figuring out a dish um, based on that challenge or I'll figure out the ingredient that the challenge provides and then I'll come up with the dish for that. So for example, this one was about shrimp. Um, that was what I chose. And then how that worked for me was when I think of shrimp and I think of sandwiches, right away I thought of, um, you know, you can do a uh, shrimp po' boy, but then I thought of grilled cheese and then two sandwiches, like things, something put together and I thought of shrimp toast. So that's sort of where that idea came from. And then from there, that comes the Asian flavors and Asian influences. Um, next question is, is there a celebrity chef that you idolize and would lose your mind if they appeared on as guest judge? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, maybe Gordon Ramsay. Um, it's not, it's not more so because of like, you know, whether he's a chef, of uh, that he can cook, etc. It's because... It's more of seeing him and knowing what everything that he brings in regards to, you know, sort of his fame and sort of what everybody portrays him to be. It'd be just cool to just be able to see him in person, cook with him or cook for him and have him judge me. That'd be dope because what else? In regards to like other celebrity chefs, not really celebrity chefs, but for me is all the chefs that I idolize in the real um, kitchens, culinary world, and not so much on TV. So guys would be like, you know, David Chang is the Rene or Zeppies, the guys that run three Michelin stars and the two Michelin stars and all that. Those are those would be cool and those would be another different type of sort of fanboying if you will because those guys they they cook differently than what celebrity chefs cook. Um, so yeah definitely if it was a celebrity chef on the TV kind of thing it would be Gordon Ramsay just because of everything he brings. Um, if it was for more so a different type of a chef that cooks at the restaurants and not more TV but celebrity in regards to the food industry, um, I'd be more pressured per se to cook um, um, to cook food for him just because they literally do that and that's their living. Um, so yeah, that's the question. Thank you for that. Uh, another question is, how do you get your muscled forearms and make them look like veins when you're cooking? Uh, that's just... That just comes out literally when from through diet and fitness, and it just happens to be like that. Um, it's also cool. It's really cool. I enjoy it. It's part of my. It's part of my lifestyle. It's just staying in shape. And if it comes out, it comes out. And that's why I guess the whole six pack chef thing um, exists. Uh, next question. Um, way to go on redoing the sandwiches. Yeah. So if you haven't seen this episode, go watch it. Um, I'm gonna give you a little spoiler, in, you've, in just in case on uh, that most people have watched it, this we're going to watch it now, is that I basically burnt my grilled cheese sandwiches with five minutes left. And I had four minutes to create whole new sandwiches to bring to the plate and give to the judges or else I would have failed. By the way, the judge was Afrin Pristine. Uh, he's one of the big uh, cheese guys in Toronto, if not the biggest. I think I called him the cheese Don on the show. Um, he runs Cheese Boutique in Toronto, go check him out. But yeah, I made the sandwiches and that was it. I just pushed through, so shout out to that. And the question was, if you knew you were making grilled cheese before, would you have picked shrimp? Um, probably not. Maybe. Uh, actually, yeah, I think so. I think all the all the seafood that I can think back now, what was it? Clams, lobster, crab, sable fish, um, and then obviously the shrimp. 
Um, yeah, I can go with any of them. Really, doesn't matter to me. Um, yeah. So shrimp, any of those, I would make any. I would be able to make a grilled cheese regardless. Um, but yeah, okay. So guys, I think those. That's all the questions for this week. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick little chat, I guess, about um, the show being on the show so far. It's been insane. Uh, so much support. Everybody just every week being able to survive another episode, being able to survive and um, be able to bring everybody along with me for the ride. And it's just having people come and like say, hey, are you, you know, are you the top chef? I, I, I've seen you or hey, that dish sucked. You should have done this or this person's like that. Um, it's been really, really cool. Another cool thing is also being able to see friends and people who know me um, more closely watch the show and feel really invested. They're like, I, you know, I don't watch TV. But because you're on it, I'm watching TV every week, you know, it's like Game of Thrones and then Top Chef Canada, Game of Thrones and then Top Chef Canada, or basketball and Top Chef Canada. Um, so that's super, super cool to be able to be a part of everyone's lives like that. Um, that's dope. And then for them to also, a lot of people have said that the best part was, or at least for me, the best part hearing from other people um, is that they're like watching the show. It's cool because they, they know who I am. And then they're like, you're no different than you are on the show than you are in person. So that to me is a very big thing because that's something that I wanted to make sure that I stayed true to myself when I went on the show was just to be me and that would be the best way to showcase who I am and to share my story with everybody. So that's it for today. That's it for episode four Q&A. See you guys next week because I've survived. So I've got another week, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, episode 5, Top Chef Canada. Check it out, foodnetwork.ca. They have all the episodes there as well. So until then, peace out. Take care.